Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be covering this really cool lightning effect that's actually quite simple to achieve. So as you can see, we kind of have this lightning kind of striking here. Um, there's a few different things going on here that I'm gonna be covering. Um, I'm gonna be using this to copy my nodes over to show you guys kind of this general setup, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play this back. You're gonna see the lightning strikes and then it kind of fades back away. And then it kind of will come right back just like that. So we're just gonna be going over how to basically do something like that. Um, it's actually pretty simple and it's kind of fun to do. So the very first thing we needed to do is actually find an image of lightning. So I'm going to go online. I'm going to type in unsplash.com, which is a free image website. Type in lightning, make sure you spell it right. Um, and let's just find a picture of some kind of lightning. I think this one looks perfect. I'm gonna download this one. It's gonna go over to my downloads folder and I'm gonna add it right into Blender. Go to add uh, image, image as planes, and then we're just gonna locate that file and here it is right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and scale it up like that. So as you can see, it's looking pretty dark. Now we're in Eevee right here, I believe. Yeah, but we're gonna stay in Eevee for now. We'll come back to cycles when we're ready. Um, the first goal is how do we actually get this thing to be transparent? So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. Um, so I'm gonna head over to the shading tab. Now I'm gonna click on my original um, image plane right here, and I'm actually going to just copy some of these nodes over, but we'll, I'll show you guys exactly kind of what I did here to achieve this. Um, there's a few different things going on. On the bottom here, this is everything responsible for the actual transparency. So I'm just going to copy this, um, and we're just gonna kind of head over here, and I'm gonna paste it in and explain kind of what I did here. So. Right here, originally, you guys will have these nodes. You'll have your image node, your principal BSDF, and then your material output. I am actually going to be deleting the principal BSDF, putting the material output right here, plugging in my mix shader. And don't worry, I'll make sure I leave this up so you guys can actually kind of see what's going on. And then I'm gonna plug my color into these like that. Now, the main thing that you guys need to focus on here, see what we have our transparency with our lightning, is this color ramp. Watch what happens when I kind of adjust these right here. You'll see that if I adjust this, we can actually basically make our image transparent or not transparent. So the color ramp is really what's what's the most important thing here. And then as you guys can see, I have my saturation and my hue right here. If I bring my saturation to zero on both of these, you'll notice that our lightning is now completely black and white. So that's just the way, you don't have to do that, but I like to do that because um, I think it looks better when it's black and white, it looks a little bit more realistic. And if we really zoom in on our image here and we mess around with our color ramp, you can see that we can fine tune the areas that are gonna be transparent and not transparent. Now this is the basic node setup. Again, I'm not gonna really get too much into what's going on here, but basically if I just had to explain it to you guys, we have a mix shader. We're mixing a transparent BSDF with an emission BSDF. And it's basically taking the image um, as an input here for our emission and we're just using our factor here, right, to actually cut out that black. So this color ramp is cutting out the black background, and now we have this awesome um, image plane that is completely transparent. Now, how do we actually give this kind of like some distortion as well? So I'm gonna go into the distortion real quick. I'm gonna head back over to the layout tab. So I'm gonna go to solid view. I'm gonna tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, and then this little menu is gonna pop up down here i'm going to type in like 10 or so and as you can see we now have this subdivided grid tab out of edit mode go to my modifiers add a displacement modifier click on new go over to my textures and i'm going to put clouds here and now you're going to see we have this crazy distortion right it's not very smooth though so add another subdivision surface modifier uh, you can put that at level of three or two whatever you want right click shade auto smooth and then I'm gonna turn my strength down just a little bit. That looks good. Now, if I go back to my rendered view, move this over here, you're gonna see that our lightning now has some dimension to it. So this is actually really interesting here because you can take a flat image and turn it into something with actual dimension. This looks really, really good. Now, there's only kind of like one step left. How do we actually animate it like we have this one animated over here? Let me go ahead and hop back over to the shading tab. So in our shading tab here, I'm actually gonna go into rendered view. I'm gonna first of all make my world black. I'm also gonna turn on bloom so we can kind of see these glowing. Now this is Eevee, 
but the same thing can be accomplished in cycles with compositing. So you can add a glare node in your compositor to get this bloom. Now, how do we actually make this thing fade in and out and animate it? Well, this is where our color ramp and mapping come into play. So right here, we have a texture coordinate mapping and a color ramp plugged into another mix shader with a transparent BSDF. So let's go ahead and set that up. So our current node setup basically just makes our image transparent. The next thing we want to do is we want to add another mix shader right here, plug it into this mix shader, copy our transparent BSDF, right guys? Plug that into the shader right here. And then what we want to do, I'm going to double check this other one. Yep, we're good. Um, is we want to plug a, a color ramp into our FAC. But before we do that, we need to add some basic mapping. So add a mapping node and add a texture coordinate node, plug the generated into the vector, vector into our FAC of our color ramp, and then the color into the FAC right here. Now you'll already notice that everything is faded out. And watch what happens if I went, if I go ahead and I move this slider on our color ramp, you'll notice that we already have our effect right here. So how do we actually kind of like animate this? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and drag this somewhere where we can actually see it. That looks good. And then what we can do is we can actually take our X mapping right here and we can keyframe it. Now you'll see it's going the wrong way right now. So I'm actually gonna switch my gradient like that. So I'm gonna have it start at white and go to black. Now what's really cool is if you move this gradient here, you can have a really sharp looking lightning or you can have it fade more depending on where this gradient is actually um, happening here. So these color stops are gonna determine your effect. But if you look right here, this X value is what we're gonna animate. Right, so I'm gonna bring my X value down to like negative 1.5, and then I'm gonna head over over here and make this our dope sheet. So there's a little drop down here. Just click on dope sheet, go back to frame one or zero, and then insert a keyframe right here. So hover over this value, press I, and then press space bar. Wait till you're about like frame 30 or so, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and raise this value to like one or until you see all the lightning, and then hover over this, press I again. Now if you head back here, you'll notice when I press play, we have a lightning stri strike. Now what's really cool about this is you guys can adjust the timing however you want. So at this point, everything is set up for you, right? We have our node set up, which might look complex, but the way I broke it down, I hope I simplified it as much as I could for you guys. Again, this bottom part here, right here, this bottom part, is just making the image transparent. And then this top part right here is where we're actually animating the color ramp, which is going to basically make our image fade in and out. Now, this is super powerful. And what's great is we can adjust these keyframes as needed if we want it to be faster or slower. And I just think that looks fantastic. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is how you make animated lightning in Blender. I think it looks fantastic. I'm gonna play this back one more time. Now again, this one was already pre-set up from my Thor's Hammer tutorial, but how awesome is that, guys? I hope this helps. Um, and what's really cool is you can swap the image out for pretty much any image and it'll still work. So if I go back to my shading tab and I locate my image node right here, I can just click on this little button and I can go to my uh, random folder, which is, sorry guys, it is right here and I can find, it, it'll work with other images too. Now lightning it works the best with, but it would also work with something different, like a texture. So it could work with this, right? So if I play this back, it's gonna work with that as well. Now obviously lightning is gonna be our main choice here. So I'm gonna switch it back to my lightning texture, but this looks awesome. And th that is the effect guys, that is how you make lightning in Blender. This also works in cycles, like I said, but EV was just easy because it was loading really quickly. So I just decided to go with that. And that is it guys. That is how you make an animated lightning texture. Um, if you wanted to take it one level further, you could add a Musgrave texture um, within your nodes, right? Before like your color ramp or something, have it really sporadically come in. I just thought this was pretty perfect with the color ramp. I tried to keep it as simple as possible, but you guys can add on to this technique and you can make this whatever you want. That is it guys, that is the tutorial. And again, this is 3D, so it, it has some 3D dimension to it. Um, really, really easy way to make lightning in Blender. There's no need to overcomplicate it. 
Um, this is a royalty free image. Have fun with it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like this technique? Will you use this technique? Um, I'd be really curious. Check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the Instagram, check out the TikTok, check out the YouTube. Everything should all be in the description below so you guys can check that out. Have a great day and I will see you in the next tutorial.